Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, our creative living band, I'm going to nickname you the Three Amigos. <laughs> they did a great job, didn't they? Woo! Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We have a couple people out this week, but our creative living band brought it anyway, so thank you. <laughs> Let's give them another hand. Yeah. So I want to say thank you to all of the amazing people who step up and serve our spiritual community in so many wonderful, wonderful ways. And I do want to let you know that there are opportunities for you to serve, if you would like. Um, we have uh, opportunities for the kitchen team, for the audio video team, um, for helping with ushering and youth and family, um, the band. Um, you only have to serve one Sunday a month. And we train you. And so if you're interested, talk to me after service and we'll get you signed up doing something that you love doing. All right? In the meantime, let's bless everyone that, that comes early and really helps support this ministry. Give them all a big hand, okay? Yeah. All right. So I do want to welcome those of you that are watching this video clip of our service. Um, we want to personally invite you, if you're in the area, to come and enjoy an in-person Sunday service where you will get to feel the love and the energy and the music and the vibration that we have here. We're at Unity Church for Creative Living, 2777 Racetrack Road, St. John's, Florida, 32259. Service starts at 10.30 a.m., but if you come a little early, the band does pre-service music, and it's really great. So if you're able to get here a little early, you'll get to enjoy some of that as well. And we will look forward to seeing you. God is good all the time. If you're new with us, I like to say God is good. I like to hear you say all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I always like to start with something just a little bit funny because laughter is good for the soul, right? So a young man was looking for a wife, and he typed into his computer and asked AI, that's artificial intelligence, right? He typed in uh, the computer and asked AI for what he wanted. And he said, I wanted a, he, he typed in, I want a companion who's small, cute, loves water sports, and enjoys group activities. And the answer came back from AI, that he should marry a penguin. <laughs> yeah, kind of fits. <laughs> maybe, maybe you needed to be a little bit more specific. <laughs> you got to be careful what you ask for because you just might get it, right? And that works in life as well. You know, our third basic principle in unity is the law of mind action. Thoughts held in mind reproduce after their kind. So pay attention to what you're asking for, and it's okay to be specific so that the communication is clear and you don't end up with a penguin. <laughs> and, um, and I always like to add this or something better to my request, because God always outdoes me, always. So thank you. God is good all the time. You know, last week we talked about um, the mysteries of the ages, Christ in you, your hope of glory. Remember, Christ is the name of the spark of the divine within each and every one of us. That Christ spark within is waiting to be found and to be fanned into a flame and so that we can live from that Christ essence like Jesus did. Last week, we also talked about basketball coach Jason Williams, remember, and the player Anthony Edwards. Anthony was the number one player in the league at the time, and he was sitting on the bench. The whole analogy is recognizing who you have on your team, that Christ within. Recognize you've got Christ on your team, and don't leave Christ unutilized on the bench of your life. Put Christ in the game and on the court of your life and watch what amazing things unfold for you. Let's say our affirmation again. 
together. The light of God flows through me. One more time like we mean it. Together. The light of God flows through me. Thank you. You know, I told you before that I'm always in the process of learning and growing, and my current learning and growing experiences have, um, they've been great, and I learned a new acronym. If you know me, I like acronyms, you know. So it is for LIGHT, L-I-G-H-T, stands for Living in God's Holy Thoughts. Ooh, nice, right? Kind of cool. All right. L-I-G-H-T, living in God's holy thoughts. Yes, I love that. You know, we don't have to wait until we get all our ducks in a row. I'm pretty sure my duck, some of my ducks are missing. <laughs> And some pigeons have filled in. <laughs> and, and they're definitely not in a row. But God doesn't care. God loves me and loves you unconditionally. God is good all the time. So leaning into living as the light of God in this world is not about waiting until we get everything right. Because... We might be waiting a very, very, very long time for that. <laughs> it's about showing up and putting Christ first in our life. And when we put Christ forward in the game of our life and live in the love and light that we are, light, living in God's holy thoughts, things shift not only within us, but that energy vibration goes out into our world and it shifts things out here as well for the better. It's a God thing. And God is good all the time. In the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, Jesus spoke highly of the pure consciousness of children. The disciples came to Jesus and they asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called the child over. And he stood that child among them and he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like a child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, he said. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. So Jesus is talking about that childlike innocence, that light, that openness, that purity in consciousness you know, before it gets kind of corrupted, okay? And children demonstrate this ability to be in the now moment, fully present. So reclaim that childlike innocence, that light, that openness, that purity in consciousness and being here now in this present moment. That's what Jesus meant when he said, become as a child. We came into this world knowing this truth, being who we are. We know how to do this. Some of you may still remember that light of God that you are from being a child. It's time to rekindle that to really open up our heart and mind, to find that Christ light, fan it into a flame, live from that Christ presence. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 19, people were lining up to speak with Jesus, and some children came up in the line, and the disciples were shooing them away, and Jesus saw this, and he says, hey, hey, no, no, no. Let the children come to me. Do not refuse them. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. You, beloved, are God's children. You are the light of God in this world. Let your light shine, shine, shine. As we release judgments, especially critical self-judgment, and we center in love, 
and we align with God. We are aligned with the, the light that we are, the light that God is. We're aligned with living in God's holy thoughts. God is good all the time. I try and remind myself of that sometimes when I'm driving. Anybody else get lessons while you're driving? Okay, good, it's not just me. All right. Um, I, I'm doing a lot better, and I'm practicing this light, living in God's holy thoughts, and um, recognizing that, you know, when I see the teenager driving, dirty in and out of traffic, not you. <laughs> when I see a teenager driving, you know, in and out of traffic and kind of um, not safely, you know, I, I try to remember, oh God, I think that was me too when I was a teenager. <laughs> I had done some of that myself. And to just, you know, not engage with the dynamics of that, or I'm not going to let them cut me off or whatever, but to just kind of breathe back in and remember who I am and move over maybe, let them pass and send them love and light and, and protection and just be the light. You know, I have no idea. Maybe someone they love got hurt and they're rushing to get to them, you know? Maybe they're late for work for the 15th time, you know? We don't know. But let's just send them love and light and not... My goal is to not get engaged in that lower level vibrational energy. Because it's really easy to get, you know, hooked into that. And then I'm down here and, <laughs> and they're off and take a turn and they're gone. And I'm like, you know. And then I have to start doing the work to get up to a higher level energy vibration um, and make that climb. So it's a work in progress. I'm doing a lot better. Um, but there are still some times I slip, you know, and it's like I'm making a mental note and bookmarking in my mind how it feels when I'm down here in the stress and anxiety and judgment and different things. And then it's like, oh, yeah, oh, no, I don't want to be here. How did I get here again? Never mind, doesn't matter how. Let's just get out of here and start climbing back up. And sometimes just... You know, using music will help lift me. You know, Karen Drucker is one of my favorites. <laughs> um, all right, let's, um, let's say our affirmation again. Together. The light of God flows through me. If you find yourself like sinking into that lower energy vibration, remember that the light of God flows through you and send that love and light of God out, not only for yourself, but everyone around you. Whether you're agreeing with them or not, you are the light and you deserve to live in this upper energy realm of consciousness, being the truth of the love and the light of God and expression that you are. I have a little story for you. It's about a flashlight. When a flashlight grows dim or quits working, you don't throw it away, you change the batteries. When a person messes up and finds themselves in a dark place, do you cast them aside? Of course not. You help them change their batteries. Some people need AA batteries. Double A stands for attention and affection. Some people need triple A batteries. That stands for attention, affection, and acceptance, right? Some need C batteries. Stands for compassion. Some need D batteries, which stands for direction. And if they still don't seem to shine, simply sit with them and share your light. That's enough. God is good all the time. Marianne Williamson um, 
has an amazing quote called Beyond Measure. It's from her book, A Return to Love. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I love the whole thing, but I'm not going to read the whole thing today. But it, clips of it are our deepest fear. Our deepest fear is that we, is that we are inadequate. I said that wrong. I forgot an important word. I'm like, that's not right. Wait a minute. So scratch that. We'll start again. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Okay. <clears throat> our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Wow. You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. We are all meant to shine as children do. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people the permission to do the same. As we're liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Thank you, Marianne Williamson. So how can we live as the light, the love and light of God and expression? We can do our spiritual work, pray, meditate, learn, grow, evolve, serve, become as little children, open and receptive here now as the light, L-I-G-H-T, living in God's holy thoughts. Sometimes, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had some stuff happen and it kind of knocked me, <laughs> knocked me off and into the lower energy realm and I was feeling sorry for myself. And um, I put on one, uh, Karen Drucker has a Shine album and I put that on and she has the song that's, says, I let my big, bright, brilliant beam of radiant light shine. And it's upbeat, and it's powerful, and it's funny. And by the time I got to the end of the song, I was already climbing out of that self-pity hole that I'd climbed into. And, um, and it was powerful. So I'm going to invite you to say that with me. So repeat after me. I let my big... Bright, brilliant, beam of radiant light shine. Again, I let my big, bright, brilliant, beam of radiant light shine. One more time, all together. I let my big, bright, Brilliant beam of radiant light shine. Thank you, God. Do you already feel some of that energy rising with that? Well, with Karen Drucker's song and the music behind it, it is definitely an uplift, let me tell you. God is good all the time. Thank you. I'm going to close with a poem by May Rowland. May Rowland was a very influential person in the up and coming of unity and the, the whole movement. She also has written a number of books and um, she, May Rowland was the director of Silent Unity, Unity's worldwide prayer ministry, which is located in Unity Village, Missouri at our headquarters. May Rowland was the director of Silent Unity from 1915 to 1971. That's a long time. And I still feel like I feel her energy and her um, contributions when I go to the village. So. This poem is written by her and it's called Child of Light. And I share it with you. Child of Light, I bless you. I think of you, I pray for you. 
not in terms of what I think you need or what I think you should do or be or express. I lift up my thoughts about you and I see you as you truly are. A holy child of light. I see you guided and directed by an inward spirit that leads you unerring, unerringly into paths that are just right for you. I see you strong and whole. I see you blessed and prospered. I see you courageous and confident. I see you capable and successful. I see you from limitations or bondage of any kind. I see you as the spiritually perfect being that you truly are. Child of light, I bless you. I bless you. And I love you. I love you. Thank you, May Rowland. So let's take that energy of May Rowland's poem, Child of Light. And let's take that with us as we prepare for meditation. I'm going to invite you to just get comfortable right where you are. Let the chair support you. Feel your feet on the floor. Relax your shoulders. And just be here now, in this now moment. I invite you to let go of any outer distractions and go within. And we're going to sing together as I center in love. I align with God. center in love. I align with God. I invite you to allow my words to be the words of your own heart and mind as we share this brief time of prayer and meditation together. Gently breathe in, God is. Slowly breathe out. I am. God is. I am. Thank you, God, for this day, for this opportunity to be alive in it for this remembrance of the truth of who I am, God's beloved child, full of love and light.
I go forward today remembering that I am the light of God in this world. Light, living in God's holy thoughts. As I work my spiritual tools and principles, it helps me to be in that upper energy realm of consciousness, to see from a higher perspective, to love and not judge, and to shine my light into the world. What the world needs now is more light and more love and more light workers being here now in the present moment. And as we join together and shine our light out into the world, We help other people recognize their light and they shine as well. So coming together in this truth, we remember who we are, God's beloved. I invite you to take another gentle breath in, slowly release it, and go deeper within to that sacred space within you where you connect with that divine presence of God. And just rest there in the silence and listen for the still small voice of God as God speaks just to you in the silence, in the silence. Thank you, God. Mm. I am the place where God shines through. For God and I are one, not two. I need not fear, nor fret, nor plan. God needs me now right where I am. And if I am relaxed and free, God will do a mighty work through me. And so it is. Amen. And amen.
think we need to change your name to the Three Powerful Amigos. <laughs> Creative Living Band, great job, thank you. I think it's a little brighter in here. It's amazing when we drop our fears and our un unfounded beliefs and just let our light shine through. And I think that's a great um, idea for us to try this week. Let's all just try to drop our mask and let everybody see who we really are. So thank you, Reverend Yvonne, for that reminder, that powerful reminder that we are the light. And as we bathe in our light, let's be reminded that when we are in the flow of life, we are blessed. And now is our opportunity to give some of our flow back to this ministry for all that we've received. We'll be passing the basket shortly, but you can also click on the QR code in the back of your seat, um, and you'll be sent to our secure website where you can give that way also. And a special thanks to all of you who've set up reoccurring donations that greatly assist our ministry in doing everything we need to do. And let's all remind, remember that this is our church, our community. And so when we give, we give to ourselves as well as the support of this ministry. So with all that in mind, let us take our financial gifts to our heart and affirm our offertory blessing together. Divine love flowing through me blesses and multiplies all that I have all that I give, and all that I receive. And I am richly blessed. Thank you, God. Okay, remember our UCCL Fall Annual Festivals on October 5th. Vendor registrations open. Pick up a vendor pack if you wish uh, or are interested in being a vendor and help spread the word by taking one of the brochures and spreading them out to our your friends and family. Also register for Charlie Tweets August 25th uh, performance. Remember after um, service that Sunday there'll be a potluck and Charlie's workshop is how to take your power back. You can sign up again in the lobby for that. You can also register for the five-week self-awareness class that begins on Wednesday, August 21st. On August 7th, join Reverend Yvonne for empowering conversations. <sighs> the Fall Festival Decorating Committee will meet after service on the 4th. And after service today, join our UCCL community lunch brunch at So Fresh in Durban Pavilion. It's up the road a piece. I'd now like to welcome everyone to stand and join me in saying the prayer of protection as an I am statement. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. And together, wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Yeah, God. <laughs>